Okay, so what I'm going to do now is give you a sneak peek into the members area because I know a lot of people are, are concerned about scams on the internet and rightfully so, so I thought by showing you what's actually in the members area should you decide to join, it'll give you a good idea of what's in here. Now I'll try and make this video pretty quick so I don't bore you to sleep. So once you log in you'll see your members details here which I've um, blurred out so you can't use my uh, details to log in. Uh, there's a brief introduction about what you can expect in the members area over here. Uh, so we move on down, these uh, I've blurred this out again but this is where you can sort of, uh, contact me if you need some support, uh, anytime you need to contact us with uh, questions, um, you basically just use our support desk here and we'll uh, usually get back to you within a couple of hours or at the most 24 hours. <coughs> uh, scrolling on down we can see an update that we've got here which is uh, Pandora's battery. Now a lot of the latest members that have joined have uh, the new PSPs which have a, a firmware of over 3.50. Now any PSP with a firmware over 3.50 can only be downgraded with a Pandora's battery. <coughs> now to make it Pandora's battery you need to have a downgraded PSP so a lot of uh, members who have joined up aren't in that situation so what we've done is we've decided to make it free of charge for our members. All they do is send us their battery and memory stick uh, and they send a small postage charge so we can just send it straight back to them after we've made it and so it's basically free of charge we do this. And another alternative is that they can send their whole PSP to us and we will downgrade it, play some games on it, and send it back to them. Again, free of charge, as long as they pay the postage. Um, now, getting now to the videos, um, this, is, this site is from anywhere from absolute beginners, newbies, to some more advanced, and we go right from the basics. As you can see here, we've started with WinRA and WinZip, which are basically basically compression tools that a lot of the um, software comes in. And if you don't know what that is, then well, that's where you click, but most people do, but some people don't. On to the downgrading videos. Um, as you can see, I've gone into quite detail here. A lot of the earlier models um, had TA082 motherboards, which cause problems when downgrading, but it's not so much an issue now because um, a lot of the PSPs are on higher firmwares. Uh, as you can see here, here's all the downgrading videos. Now all you have to do is click on a video and a new window will open up with the video. Um, underneath all the links are the software, so if you need to download some software for that particular downgrade, it's all here. You don't have to go searching anywhere for it. And as you can see here, I've got every downgrader from 2.0 to 3.50 and as, as I've mentioned before anything above 3.50 you need a Pandora's battery but I have included that video as well. Now quickly on down, um, dev videos um, these are just some extras that some people like to run uh, they were quite effective on the earlier earlier PSPs before the later custom firmwares come out but they're still included. Uh, custom firmwares I've got everything from 3.02 all the way up to the latest 3.90 okay so once again just click on the videos um, basic step-by-step -step instruction once again all the software you need you just click on the links underneath the videos um, plain ISOs and CSOs on your custom firmware again this is all beginner stuff but if you're a newbie or you're a beginner and you don't know how to do this stuff these are great because they show you step by step what to do. You're not reading it, you can actually see me doing it and I explain everything as I go along. Um, homebrew, here's just some stuff where you can download you know, music, games or torrents. Uh, this uh, section here probably is probably one of the best ones. Um, shows you where you can download UMD games and these stacks of them. Emulators. Um, how you can put emulators onto your PSP like uh, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, Neo Geo, Capcom, one of my favourites, uh, Game Boy Advance, so many stacks here. And once again, the downloads for these. Um, playing Homebrew on your custom firmware, playing PS1 games on your PSP, how you convert them, um, and how you back them up. 
some homebrew application videos I've got in here like remote control uh, DVD to PSP, how you can put your favourite DVDs on your PSP, very easy to do um, and I've just got some various PSP videos some members ask me for videos so I um, try and make them for them and I'll just put them in the members area so you can see here just a couple um, that I've made customizations if you want to change the appearance of your PSP like the backgrounds or the um, the XMB, the menu, you can um, this will show you how to do that uh, and here's the Pandora's battery I was talking about if you are above 3.50 uh, you will need a Pandora's battery if you want to make it yourself you can uh, watch this video if you want us to make it for us that's cool no problem whatsoever um, we've sent batteries over to the US to the UK uh, so and that's basically on the other side of the world um, and down here is uh, another Pandora's battery video for the Slim PSP because they require different uh, Pandora's batteries. And lastly, but not least, is some bonus software that I've managed to get a hold of for our members, which is um, uh, turns your PC into a web TV so you can watch um, TV from all over the world. It sells for about 40 50 bucks online elsewhere, but. Um, I've got this free for our members so they can um, enjoy it. So basically that's what's in our members area. So if you do decide to join, um, you know what you're getting now. Um, as I've said, there's over 60 videos in this members area. And when we first began the site, there was 25. Okay, So I'm continually adding new stuff to it as it comes out or as members request. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the members area.